If you're just joining, name of the day is Craigers. You can call me Nate. You can call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. Let's jump into the last run of today. See if we can bump ourselves up to an eight win streak on Covenant 25. Interesting. Wild and 10 again. This time with uh, Exile Umbra. Not great. Um, Restoration Detonation, Wildwood Custodian, and Prismal Dusts. Seraph the Patient. I mean, Prismal Dust is really great with Seraph the Patient. So I'm not unhappy about that. Do we... I guess we go Gorge. Maybe we can get a... Um, yeah, Predator build rolling. So we get a Predator build, and we have our tank be... Uh, ideally a uh, gorge unit or we just have a gorge unit and we use this as the floor that kills everything else we'll see armor is a little bit tricky here um, this is gonna be whether we can get enough damage the planks are basically worthless but we will plink nevertheless Plink in a hit. Um, this guy just dies right now. Do we just apply two damage shield and toss these guys down here? Doesn't really matter. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we want to get enough root seeds that you're killing the second guy. And then I think it's uh, Plink down here. Or you know what, just... Mm, yeah, just root seeds. That's fine. Took two damage. Not that bad. Uh, let's get a thick train steward here. I think. Or is it just like giving you... Th well, three damage shield here doesn't make sense. We're only taking one damage each. Let's get... Uh, maybe we just go all in on root seeds on him. Don't know. We can go halvesies here. Maybe we put the, the Prismal Dust on you. I think we just root seeds you twice. We get two more... Uh, can we keep you alive is the question. Um, kind of. They're going to lose their rage. So it's going to be, if I put this guy up front... So it's 3611, it would be 8 plus 6. That's also still too much. It doesn't really matter. Let's put him in the back and do some damage. Um, root seeds, root seeds, and plink. Now we're just hoping we have enough. Uh, we do. Actually, you're fine. Do more damage and plink for fun. Cool. Now we need actual gorgers, please. Um, don't think we want any of this. Another prismal dust. I don't think we need any morsels. We're going to get plenty of morsels through our um, shade lamp. But a third prismal dust is interesting. I think I'm going to go up for it. And then we want... Is it Vine Mother? I guess Crucible Collector is pretty good. Uh, none of them, none of them is really that great. Awoken Hollow could be okay with the Restoration Detonations, but do we have a chance to get another Umber unit? We do, or an Awoken Banner? I think it's got to be an Umber unit. It's just life steal is just not great. That's the problem. I think we skip here. We need a better Gorge unit. We really need a Crucible Warden. 
would be the best. We cannot fit Shadow Siege. Um, and I don't think we're going to be able to play it. I think, so we take Morsel Master. We can get a Gorger here. Maybe that's the one. Uh, hold over on something. I think it's minus one on Root Seeds. And plus ten to a Plink. And we leave it at that for now. Cool. All right. So the Morsel Master is just going to buff himself right now, which isn't ex very exciting, but uh, then we have Wildenton plus a Train Steward to kill off other stuff. I'm not going to play this yet. There they are. Uh, we can double plink here, which is good. And I think we want... Yeah, I mean, we still just want things to do damage. And it reduces the damage onto him when we do that. Let's give you... Extra damage here. And lifesteal as well. And then just get some stats onto one of you guys for now. Mm -hmm. Plink gives us four morsels. Three morsels. Counting is hard. Um, life steal on you makes a lot of sense. All the health on you also makes a lot of sense. We can restoration detonation to get even more health. You in there. And let's just bump up your stats. All right, how are we doing? Plink should be really good here. Um, Plink should be really good here. Let's give you all the stats and you all the stats and get you in there and blast you. Cool. And we're good. Yeah, the, st <laughs> the fast train steward. Uh, we don't need Wildwood Sap. I don't think we need Glimmer either. Healing just doesn't work with builds like this. We don't need another Prismal Dust. Perils of Production is kind of interesting. If we can get it holdover, it could be really strong. We'll take it, and then let's hope that we get hold over on it. Otherwise, we just play it as a way to get a massive amount of um, damage shield out. Please, Crucible Warden. Alloyed Construct. Well, it is better. We could actually play Shadow Siege now if we tried. But let's do the Alloyed Construct. Endless. Well, I think it's damage shield. And more HP, maybe? Does that give us more time? Um, let's put it on you for now. And let's see if when we reroll we get something better. Another multi-strike. And then we just have to go all in on damage shield. I think that makes sense. Let's get... Uh, more damage onto you. And that's it. Copy a card five times. <sighs> Copy a card five times. I think it's too much Prismal Dust. But maybe it's not. Maybe we do that. We go nuts on Prismal Dust. Because we're going to get Morsels. We're going to get Morsels due to our Relic. Things are going to die. 
Um, so really it's about getting a damage shield, enough damage shield. And if we can get uh, the first hell pack, this would make it a lot better as well. Um, I mean, we have so many. Let's just start stacking it now. All right. Morsel Maker. We are in trouble. We currently don't have any way of uh, increasing damage here. And thereby getting morsels. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did not think about the uh, shift there. Let's play it like this. Get you in there as well. Do some more damage. Mm -hmm. Get you up front. Uh, plinking is not going to do much here. Just give you more damage shield. We're going to take some fire damage. Oh my gosh. We are not getting uh, anything rolling here. Um, so it turns out if you don't kill anything... There we go. There's more. Now we've got it going. Let's get uh, this on you as well. And then I think we're going to plink. Damage shield is what we want here. Oh, we wanted, uh, actually, we wanted to double up on uh, the other morsels there. Okay, but now we actually have fuel. That's good. Um, you know what? Start stacking it on you. That's a problem. How are we doing? Not amazing right now, but we can maybe improve that with some sweet, sweet damage shield action. This is six extra hits. We can get even more. We do that. Beat ya. Uh, I think it's damage shield. And then just get as many, as much damage as we can out on you guys for now. And this is definitely going to be more damage. How are we doing? Pretty good, actually. Uh, Prismal Dust should be enough. Oh, what a weird fight. Alright. Um, I think it's Trample Stone. Morsel Maker. I actually really like that. Up on top with them. And then all of our rest of our morsels go with our uh, Wildenton. Although that means he can't he won't get damage shield. That well unless we put it on him. Oh, hello, Crucible Warden. There you are. Um Is it capacity? I think it's draw. 
Uh, maybe it is capac capacity to fit more morsels on there. So we have an alloyed construct floor, we have a crucible warden floor, and we have our wild engine floor. Three floor setup. Three floor setups are kind of hard, but we're going to try to make it work. Let's go with uh, Relic here. Okay, there's even more. Gorge. Um, I think it's train stewards. We just can't fit them anywhere. Let's go with Predator 2. It gives us things to something to root seeds, which is pretty important. This should be fine. Crucible Warden is going to be our Seraph the Patient Killer here. Get you in there. You up top. Give you something to gorge. And root seeds on you does not really make a huge difference here, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay. Let's get uh, you here. Plink. Cool. Um. We're going to give you damage shield in a minute. I'm going to do this. Then you should be fine. Two damage shields enough. Is one damage shield enough? No, we have to do two damage shield. So we can't play Morsel Master right now. But that's okay. I'm not really sure how all... Oh, because you have multi-strike three. Forgot I upgraded you with that. Uh, Yeah, do that. You're gonna get two damage shield, or you're gonna get one damage shield here. Uh, lots of plinks. And plink. And then let's get health down here. All this up here. And then more damage shield. Blink. <laughs> Blink. And we'll take another Entumbra morsel here. As many lifesteal morsels and damage as we can. Um, block with you, I guess. And give you more damage. Cool. Seems good. Um, we do not need trample for anything. You're gonna die. That's actually a problem. Let's fix that problem. Now you're not gonna die. Let's give you more damage shield. How are we doing? Not amazing yet. Um, but we should be fine soon. Lifesteal is great. Uh, Pyre grow. Do we need extra ember though? I mean, it's really good for the prismal dusts. I think we take it. And ember cash is also really good with the. I mean, it's <laughs> it's getting to the point where we probably have too many cards, but uh, draw is going to be really good coming up. Um, crap. We're gonna go for a free relic. Yeah, we're going to go for a free relic. Please be... Uh, we don't need this. Let's get Pyre Health. Okay, none of this is stuff that we needed. 
Oh, um, I think it's just Rail Forge Hammer. Get it on all the floors. Yeah, because we get plenty of morsels now. It's just a matter of where we put them. So having a three floor setup seems good. We put the Crucible Warden in front of Wildenton. Put the Allied Construct in his own floor with the uh, Morsel Master. That should be really good. I think we're okay here. We're going to be able to kill more stuff earlier, and we're going to get a lot of damage shield. I think we're fine. It's just fine. Um, as long as the plink hits. Actually, we can't even plink. Let's get you guys... here. That. We can hopefully get a good plink here. We got the best plink there. Um, Pyre grow. Root seeds you. You're going to kill anything we put on this floor. Let's try to get damage. HP. And... Just put these guys out here. All right, you're doing just fine. Hmm, this is a little bit irritating. Uh, okay. Let's give you more damage shield. Stats, give you more damage shield, uh, give you trample. You guys die. I think uh, just more damage shield on the front unit. Put you down here to die. Yeah, he's gonna just wreck everybody. Uh, biggest issue right now is that uh, we can only give him fuel every other turn, which is kind of annoying. Um, I think we'd rather just blast you. Get you in there. Root seeds. Um, and then root seeds damage shield. Uh -huh. Cool. All right, so now... Can actually start getting some stuff going. Let's uh, get you in there. You and you. It was going to die anyway. The sweep was going to kill them. That's why. It didn't matter. Um... You're going to kill him. Let's give you a little bit more health. In fact, we can give you damage shield. Let's put rage onto you. Oh, I don't know. Good question. We'll do it like that. How are we doing? I mean, I'm not super worried here. We have so much freaking health up there. The question is, I think we just want more damage shield on you. Can we even kill this guy? We can't, but we're getting really close. Yeah, we can get a massive amount of damage shield right now. Cool. Easy. Oh, uh, man. Another Pyre Grow? 
sure. Excavation eruption. Yes? Uh, later I can, yeah. Right now I'm still streaming. But you don't have to do it right now. You can wait. Eat some breakfast or something first. Got to remind myself that my kids are here with me today. <laughs> They're not at school. Uh, so, note to self. Don't forget that you have children at home. Um, I really want more relics. But, do we still have train stewards in the deck? We still have train stewards in the deck. I guess we go spell upgrades. Uh, is that right? Or do we go unit upgrades? I think we go spell upgrades. We're going to go... We'll go units here. So we'll go spells here to remove. Because we want to remove two train stewards. And... Man, I would kill for a hello, petty theft. No, it's a gift of gratitude. We can get a massive gift of gratitude. Which would be pretty awesome. And then let's make our plinks better. Um, minus one on root seeds. Get another solid plink. Another free root seeds. And then permafrost on... It's probably not worth it on the Gift of Gratitude. Might be worth it on a Prismal Dust. Because we oftentimes get two in a turn. And then we can hold one for later. To guarantee we have one when we want it. Holdover would have been really good on Perils of Production, but it's fine. Alright. What are you? Applying spells. So let's get you in here. You up top. With a morsel. How about three more morsels? And we can root seeds for free. Seems good. Alright, we get our buddies in there. I guess there's a chance that our Plink could actually be relevant. Let's see. Nope. In fact, it was worse. Uh, let's just give you Trample. We'll hold on to this. I think it's Spells here. It is. Um... We don't really have a solid way of doing a lot of damage. Let's just uh, give you damage shield. Mm -hmm. So play that. Uh... Put this down here, because it actually lives. Oh, you're dying. That's a problem. Get you guys in here. You as well. And then... I think we only need one damage shield for you to survive. But... We can give you... Oh, wait, no. We can give you two. Cool. Alright, we need... That's perfect. So you're going to survive. Very good news. We can... Plink these fools. To get even more. Oh, this is tough. Do we sacrifice these guys, making this guy way stronger? Um, I don't think so. Damage shield... Damage. I mean, we'd only have to sacrifice two of them. It put him at eight damage. Then he'd lose some. I 
I think we get rid of both of these right now. So we go Prismal Dust onto you. Then we do this. How much do you have right now? Three damage shield. We can give you three more. All right. Higher grow. Blast this guy. We want rubble morsels. We want excavators. And we want a tumbra salt here. Or a tumbra morsel here. We can toss you down here to die. That's fine. And then who do we want to give this to? Probably still you. Alright. Here's where we want the uh, money. Didn't get it. Um, let's get you here. It'll give us one draw next turn. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, it's coming. We get an 8 Ember Gift of Gratitude. 320 coins. Pretty good. Pretty solid event there. And I think we're killing him here almost. We're pretty close. Root Seeds. Um... I mean, these don't really matter that much. Other than adding more damage shield. Almost killing him. Cool. Then we can switch over to start doing root seeds to uh, the um, Wildenton. Actually, you know what would be amazing is getting, um, we want draw, is getting the sweep. That would be awesome. Then we wouldn't have to worry about anything getting to the top floor. Um... We said unit upgrades. Let's stick with that. We can remove this Wildwood Custodian. And a crappy plink. Don't want endless. Spikes? Well do we do we want endless on him? No. Large stone's okay. We can still fit him and a morsel and Wildenton on one floor. And do we want spikes or do we want... I think we just want more health on him. Cool. Strangler, we got it. I think that makes sense. I think that's better. Then we can prevent anything from getting to uh, the Alloyed Construct. This is fine. We'll play on the bottom floor with the uh, Wildenton and Crucible Warden. Play up in the top floor with the Alloyed Construct. Where did we get restricted space on the bottom floor? Can we play on the middle top then? That's fine. It's not as good, but it's okay. And we can start with that. Yeah, it took some damage. But we knew that was coming. 
Uh, rid of this. Play this. You just want damage shield. Give you life steal, I guess. Uh, we don't need any more morsels right now, so I think we just go root seeds, damage shield. Mm -hmm. More damage shield, more ember, morsels. We can do this. Cool. Give you even more lifesteal and more fuel. Maybe should have considered swapping that, but I think this is actually okay. I mean, this is awesome. We're getting guaranteed morsels every turn. Can't complain about that. Um, damage shield. Extra damage. Root seeds, root seeds, root seeds. Prismal dust. We're still drawing seven cards. Okay. Let's give you damage shield again. Trample. Just all of the damage shield. <laughs> And this is working out quite well. Um, we can plink. Actually, we can't. There's nothing to plink. There we go. Uh, that. Both of these. We're going to get a freaking huge amount of damage shield. Nine damage shield. Seems good. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Edge prior is not necessary. We don't need preserve thorns. We don't need bramble lash. Good. Shroud spike. Yes, absolutely. In fact, I'd like to consume remove the shroud spike. Although, gosh, we need to get the first health pack. The first health pack would be absolutely insane right now. Um, let's end with I remains. First health pack. Didn't get it yet. We are going to get shadow box. Absolutely. Let's take that. First health pack. Ah, oh, we didn't get it. It's fine. It's fine. Let's permafrost uh, the Shroud Spike. Minus one, two, Shroud Spike. Uh, no, Root Seeds. Double stack. On this Prismal Dust is okay. Minus one to the last Root Seeds. And then get rid of two Plinks. As you saw, like, we don't need... We actually don't need the Plinks. And maybe we even get rid of... Let's get rid of a Restoration Detonation. They're also not very good. What to duplicate? I kind of like duplicating the Shroud Spike. Let's do that. So the way we play this out is you can Shroud Spike an Ember Morsel to get a ton of damage shield onto the Crucible Warden and then use that extra Ember to then put a massive damage shield onto the uh, robot. Alright, where did we lose capacity? On the top floor? So we play bottom, or we play uh, middle, and bottom. Which is actually great. Get you in there. 
give you extra damage and give you some damage shield. There we go. It's perfect. We can get you in there now. You here. Start loading you up with morsels. Uh, root seeds you. We can plink him to get a morsel. To get three morsels. Get you in there. I'm okay with these guys getting killed later. And then let's just give you three more damage shields. So we're already really good with damage shield. This is totally fine. There's the shroud spike. And we have the rubble morsel. Okay. I mean, we can do it now. I think it makes sense. I mean, that's a lot. That's uh, six damage shield on him, plus an insane amount of damage shield later on. But we could also wait. We could also wait. Maybe it's better to wait here. Get the trample stone out now. Just get one damage shield on this guy. And let's wait. Let's be patient. We don't have to do it yet. Just need an Ember Morsel. Didn't get one yet. It's fine. We can be patient. Well, we could do it... Mm, no, we still don't want to do it yet. You're totally fine. Let's get... Yeah. Well, yeah we, just, we, keep a, we keep a chill here. No need to get anxious. But give ourselves plenty of time. None of these guys have been hit yet. I mean, this is a really... This is a lot of damage shield. It's a lot of damage shield. We're going to play this. That's it. We're still going to go for the huge shroud spike, but, like, that was... I don't know that we're going to get that much. Okay, we're just waiting to get an Ember Morsel. There it is. Okay, there's the Ember Morsel. Uh, we put you down here. Get you guys in here. This allows us to get massive amount of ember. And then we get an even more massive amount of damage shield. And fuel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's get you guys in there. There's our. Uh, I always get spooked by that. There's our uh, shadow box. And let's go nuts here. Um, I mean, there's a chance that we don't even get to. He doesn't even get to this floor. I, I think it's probably not going to happen. I think he probably will get to the floor. But there is a chance. Uh, let's just give him... Let's get more Ember. That means more damage shield next turn. And uh, you know what? Let's see if we can kill you on the bottom floor. I don't think it's going to happen. But it would be cool. How are we doing? We can get you in there. You know, let's... Root Seeds. Root Seeds. Blink. Nice. Um, and Tumber Morsel. Rubble Morsel. Damage Morsel. All good stuff. And get you up top for fun. And more damage shield. I mean, that's a lot of damage shield we got going. Mm -hmm. We are actually killing him on the bottom floor. Okay then, game. Do it. <laughs> Let's see how much damage shield we have by the end. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I 
All right, I think we had like 13 left. Cool, that was a solid overall run. Getting Strangler there was awesome. Because I think we would not have been able... Well, I mean, I, I guess our uh, our robot did a lot of damage. We might have been able to kill things, but... Certainly wasn't going to be easy. So, pretty straightforward. Uh, we probably had too many Prismal Dust, but they actually ended up being super solid. And the whole point was, Seraph the Patient just gets countered hard by a damage shield. Because he only hits once, and... It basically removes melee weakness. <laughs> so having all the Prismal Dust, I think, did make sense, even though it was a little bit of a weird one. I would normally not do an X-Cost. I was super holding out for uh, the first Hell Pact. We just didn't get it, but it's fine. And the rest of it was all about um, getting buffs and more Morsels. And then we had both, um, both Morsel-generating Relics, which was kind of hilarious. So we were like three Relics per turn, or three Morsels per turn almost every turn, which was cool. So yeah, overall, really solid. Really happy with how that went. We're at a uh, win streak now of, what? Eight, I think. Mm -hmm.